Okay, we're doing uh, Excel Lab 2. So the first thing that you should do, sign in. Sign in to uh, Blackboard. When you get to Blackboard, go to Excel Lab 2 in the Lab section. First thing you can do is right-click, Save Link As. Now here I'm using uh, Chrome as a browser and that's how you save. I would pick uh, someplace local on your device, maybe the downloads folder. That's probably the best place to save it. The file is called Excel Lab 2 2020 student files. You're going to save it. And uh, Chrome allows you to go directly to that folder and look at it. Next thing you're going to do, go in there and go to Microsoft Home. Uh, again, you should have signed in already. Uh, if so, you would sign in using the same username and password that you would use to sign in to CUNY first. We'll go back to the file. Go to the zip file that you just downloaded and uh, right click. Now, depending on what type of uh, operating system you have, um, some operating systems require you to extract all the files there. I'm using the Chrome operating system on a Chromebook. They don't call it extract, they call it open. So when I open the files, this is what comes up. I open up uh, all the files there. The first file that I'm going to be using for this particular lab is breakeven. That's this file right here. All right. And it's important to remember that because when I go back to Microsoft Word, there's a link there to upload and open. So to upload and open, I would then go to the break-even file or look for that file on my computer. After it's been extracted, click open. And SharePoint or Office 365 opens it up automatically. We're now ready to work with the file. The next thing you want to open up is go to the files and get a copy of the directions in front of you. Now, take the tab and simply separate it. Pull it away by dragging it away. This way, you have different windows. You have one window that has the file, the other window that has the directions. So, so far we've done step one and step two. We've uploaded it to Microsoft Excel. Next, we're going to see if we can insert a function in cell A3 that's going to display the system date in long date format. Go back, go to cell A3, type equal sign and the letters N O W. Now, open parentheses and close parentheses. Press the Enter key. 
you'll get a strange number there. That number has to be formatted as a long date. Click on the number that just appeared. Go to Custom. Go to Long Date. And whatever the current date is, that's exactly the date that it's going to display. Now, unfortunately, the, the online version of Excel doesn't enable you to do step number four. So we're going to proceed to step number five.